Yo, what's up boys? Today I'm going to be showing you the best settings that you guys want to run if you guys are playing on console, Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, me personally, I play on the PS5 with a DualSense controller. Uh, I also have a raised, a high-raised uh, control freak on the right side, and I don't use any puddles on my controller. So, what that means is these settings are going to work for you no matter the controller you have, no matter the system you play on, and this is going to be the overall best settings if you want to improve your gun skill, get better with aim and accuracy, and also, one thing that people don't know is your sensitivity also comes down to how you position yourself on the map and how disciplined uh, you be to yourself when it comes to moving around the map. So if your sensitivity is very high, you're going to put yourself in... Uh, positions that you can literally just rely on your sensitivity to get you out of those positions but if you play on a lower sensitivity you won't be able to rely on your sensitivity as much to get you out of sticky situations and you start to build uh, map awareness positioning you get better at rotating and you just basically become a better player with a low sensitivity over time. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I play on a very, very low sensitivity when it comes to boots on the ground Call of Duties. If we go into the settings right now, um, you can see I play on a 4-4 four, four sensitivity. Now, if I'm feeling not cracked... And I'm feeling super sluggish. I will actually go ahead and bump this down to a 3-3. Three, three. But for the most part, I play on a 4-4. Four, four, and I feel like this is absolutely perfect. Now, a lot of you guys think, would 4-4 four, four not be too slow? And what I have to say to that is no. Uh, I've been playing Vanguard all night. And I've actually bumped into a lot of pro players. Like Scraps and Wooskins that played on the London Royal Ravens uh, through a Cold War. And I was able to drop extremely good numbers. I think at one point I went 27-1 against pro players on Vanguard. I know very early into the game and everybody's just trying to learn new things. But it was with these exact settings that I'm going to show you today. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So 4-4 four, four horizontal uh, stick sensitivity and 4 vertical stick sensitivity. And I also went and reduced my aim down sights multiplier to a 0.7 this is going to be really really slow and if you just change to the sensitivity right off the rip you guys will not like it this is going to be settings that you're going to want to run when you first get on the game if you guys have been playing for a while or playing like just say you play 6-6 six, six sensitivity you're three hours deep into your gaming session and you think you know what these settings aren't for me and you change your sensitivity, you're not going to like them. The best time to change your sensitivity or switch up settings is when you first get on. You want to warm up with new settings to fully get the feel of it. So 0.7 ADS is going to make you deadly laser accurate at longer ranges. And you're going to feel guns that are made for close range. You're going to be able to hit shots at extremely long ranges with guns like the mp40 and other guns like that so for the button light i run tactical uh like i said i don't run puddles on my controller so i use my right stick to drop shot and um i feel like this is super beneficial uh for ducking and diving out of cover uh, i feel like having your melee on the right stick when you're playing default isn't very beneficial uh in the newer call of duties because it is a two hit system and um yeah it's just not beneficial to have the panic knife bound to your uh, right stick i guess i mean if you're comfortable drop shotting with circle or maybe you play with paddles you could go with default but i think for every single controller i think for the best movement possible tactical button light is by far the best for aim response curve type i actually play on standard i know a lot of the pros play on dynamic and there's also a good amount of pros to play linear also over on warzone but i feel like for 4 4 sensitivity and for that really slow ads speed i feel like standard aim response curve keeps everything extremely streamlined and it just feels super responsive uh on this particular setting all right so that is all the settings on the controller side of things 
I think a lot of it is just a bunch of filler. Like, if we scroll down to the bottom here, like, ADS swap stick and, like, what is all this? It's just a bunch of nonsense. So, I'm not even going to bother with the, the other rest of the settings. I'm just going to move on to the graphic settings. And these are actually almost as important as your controller settings. So, if you can play on 120 hertz on the next-gen consoles, I recommend switching to this. This is going to improve your gameplay a lot. You're probably thinking, if I'm recommending this, why don't I use it? I am currently uh, limited to 60 hertz because of how I actually record content. I use an Elgato game capture, which runs through HDMI, and I basically am capped at 60 hertz. So that's why I don't go ahead and use 120 hertz. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at the FOV tab. Now, this one is actually really, really personal to you guys. A lot of people would say run 120. A lot of people would say run 115, 110. And I think personally that's wrong. I feel like anywhere between 95 and 100 is definitely going to be your best bet when it comes to your FOV. Uh, maybe even 90 also. I feel like where a lot of people struggle in game is long range gunfights. And if your field of view is too high, it's going to make long range targets extremely small. And you're going to, it's going to be a much harder time to actually go ahead and take them out at long range. For your ADS field of view, I would play on affected and not independent. If you play on affected, basically what this is going to do is your aim down sights is you're going to have a higher FOV when you're aiming down sights. So you can basically see more uh, when you're aiming down sights. Uh, camera movement, you're going to want this at the least possible. This is basically when you're running around, when you're sliding, when you're mantling over objects. Your screen actually has a lot of shake. This is going to reduce that a lot, making so you can see everything crystal clear uh, when you're trying to bob and weave. Same with motion blur, weapon blur, and depth of field. You're going to want these all off. These do nothing but blur your vision and make it harder for you to see. Yes, it might look cool if you're playing the campaign and it may make you feel more immersed. But if you're trying to stay at the top of your game in a first person shooter, you're going to definitely want these off. Alright, so for audio, your I play on an 80% master volume. The reason I do this is because I use an Astro mix amp and it's super cranked. Uh, so I can hear everything going on around me and a hundred is just way too loud for me I think 80 is perfect uh, your music volume You also want this down to pretty much zero especially if you play search and destroy because after every round music plays for some weird reason uh, Head uh, the hit marker sound that's all preference audio mix I feel like headphones is the best I've tried all these other ones, but they just I don't know I can't really pinpoint footsteps uh, as well as I can with headphones Kill streak music, you want this off too. If you're in the spawn and you whip out a death machine, or you're in the enemy spawn and you're using a flame knot, you're still gonna want to be able to sound whore, and the music is just super obnoxious. And yeah, guys, that's gonna be everything I have to share in my settings. Um, you guys know if you guys watch me on the channel, you guys know that I sometimes like to mess around and use like 2020 sensitivity and just try to go for insane clips. But if I was trying my hardest to improve at the game and play at the top of my game i would 100 percent use these settings right here Whew. anyway that was a lot to get through i hope everybody stayed to the end of the video and if you're new here why not subscribe uh, smash the like button if you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in the next one peace